kwa majina naitwa Anya Mbura Karioki nafanya kazi hapa Zen Pharmaceuticals na Kuru County. Uh, kwa kweli hatuko sure kabisa ni kazi gani inaendelea kwa sababu tunafikiria ni drainage, wengine wanasema ni fiber. So hatuelewi kabisa. Kuna vitu mingi ambazo hazijawekwa kwa mpangilio kama vile hii drainage hapa sometimes huwa inajaa maji. So and there's still a bit of congestion in the town. Kwa majina naitwa Samuel Oirere Ondieki. Mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Nakuru. Na mimi ni nafanya kazi ya boda boda kama unavyoona. Tumekuwa tukiona shughuli zinazoendelea ili kuweza kuboresha mji wa Nakuru. Na sio kwanza kama mimi kabisa kabisa ni, ni kuona ninaona tu lakini sijafahamu kwa undani ni nini inaendelea. Kwa machina naitwa Eric Nyambane, ni mkaaji wa hapa Nakuru. Kitu ya kwanza mimi nataka Kenya kinastahili kufanyika. Matraine si mzuri. Mfua ikinyesa tunateseka sana. My name is Ibrahim Mogeto, Nakuru resident. I'm a secretary of Nakuru Town East Neighborhood Association and also a person wa Nakuru. Uh, ambaye nimeresiwa hapa na nimeishi hapa uh, concerning the kind of uh, some development here kuna lot of uh, potholes and uh, mashimo simejimba mingi sababu ya kufix number of uh, mam uh, cables sa sisi vina vitu vingine ambavyo zinasaidia site kwe a better status we encourage the same kind of uh, assignment but only the challenge ina kwanga ni kwamba imefanywa at the same time everywhere is causing a lot of uh, stress in terms of car kupita umepanga kuingia unakuja na pata hapa kumefungwa so it is a challenge that is missing almost the, the whole city so we are asking the county government is doing very well we tunawashukuru lakini so wako na some kind of order now that these things are supposed to be done kwa majina naitwa wagetao the banja manager wa nakuru city na niko hapa ku kuongelelea kuhusu hii project tuko nayo hapa kenyata avenue na moi road uh, na hii ni project inafanywa na the city board of nakuru na inafanywa kwa katika two road that is the Kenyatta Avenue Brogishua na the Moi Road tuko na design ya the whole of Kenyatta Avenue so the design we have is uh, for the Kenyatta Avenue Brogishua na Moi Road uh, the first phase that we are implementing now ndio hii mnaona imetoka pale kwa the roundabout ya kuingia pale kwa total kuingia town uh, from the the east side of the city and then inafika hapa KCB inateremka sasa inashika the the Moi Road inajulikana sana kama NMT and the reason why we are doing this project eh, is to create more space for the people to walk freely on our street you realize as the city is now uh, a PWD cannot walk from the one end of the Kenyatta Avenue to the other end so what are you doing because they they use the pavement they use the, the corridors eh? So the, you find that the, the corridors, most of them are disjointed, and which is not healthy for the for the for the people, or even when they are walking. Not only the PWD, at our when you are walking, you need to walk in a way that you are not subject to maybe to fall or something of that sort. That was the reason why this project is identified, and also globally now we are talking about the climate change. It is very, it's a very good project in terms of the climate change. Why? When you increase more people walking, you reduce pollution that we get from the vehicle. Meaning, we, it is it becomes very healthy for the people to walk. It becomes environmentally friendly for the for the for the for the for the city. So it is one of the projects that we feel is going to bring changes to the city. The project is at, at a cost of 80 million. That is the first the, the first uh, the first phase. And uh, what we are doing, we are creating we are having the walkway. We are going to improve the walkway. There is a section of the walkway that is going to be created. We are improving the drainage. This one, we have come to realize immediately the contractor got on site that the reason why we have been having flooding along the Kenyatta Avenue is because our drainages are not, okay, most of the drainage are blocked. Either from uh, the upper side of the, of, the, of the avenue or maybe the lower side, some of them crossing the roads. They are also blocked, meaning you, the water does not flow, and this is one of the challenges we have been experiencing in Kenyatta Avenue that have been leading to flooding. So what is happening now, the contractor, and he's still doing it, is opening up of the drainage. He's also going to redesign the, to have the new covers for, to have something we call the smooth flow 
of the people along the along the drainage because the drainage cover should also serve a purpose of providing uh, spaces for the people to walk on so we are going to change the covers most of them are broken most of them have caved in so we are also going to have some improvement on the on the drainages then we are, we are also not going to improve on the corridors there is some excavation that that is taking place we did issue a notice to the business the business owners and we also directed the contractor to make sure to ensure he has provided entrances to the to the to the build, to the to the businesses why much as we are doing this work and we appreciate the people of nakuru the business community they've been very supportive they've been very they have been very obedient when come to uh, this project so what they are doing what we are doing we are providing access to the premises as we excavate to put something we call the ducts ducts it is a uh, fine in a caravan caravan not most of the people are saying we are doing the drainage they are not drainage we are doing we are providing spaces for telecommunication companies to lay their cables you realize as it is now because now it has been opened up and you can see excavated there are so many wires that are there and at any time uh, a telecommunication company comes and want to lay their cables they have to excavate that have been disturbing the you know the corridors and also interfere with the businesses time and again so what we are doing we are having a permanent solution to this by putting the ducts that in future if you want to put your cables you want to lay your cables you only just pay the the city you pay the county and then you are given permission to to put or to lay your cables along the duct that we are doing also the county the city is using the ducts to lay the cctv cameras cables you know we have we, in nakuru unfortunately we don't have the cctv cameras that are very important in when addressing matters of security so what you are doing the first the first client to these ducts the first users of these ducts is going to be the city board through this project we are going to have the cctv camera these cctv cameras that they are their cables they are their cables are going to be to be laid through those uh, the, the ducts that we are that we are creating and we believe that is going to improve the security of the city and these are some of the benefits we are talking about becoming a city after the the confinement of a city now we can see there are some improvements that have been done in matter security in part, on, on maybe on how we are working we are improving on that still we we are also going to have some greenery areas that we are going to provide in the project so that we have a green city green street we are also going to have some street furniture some of the benches that we are going to put along the street where one can rest you know sometimes maybe you find there are so many customers in a shop and you don't want to eat their studying you can just rest on them sometimes you are walking along the street and you you feel you need to have, to have some rest so we are going to use those street furnitures and they are going to be very friendly for the people who are going to be to be using our street so we want to make our city to be people centric that is people friendly so that people can feel their part and parcel of the city more often than not you realize that in the cities we tend to give more urban space to the vehicle owners and there are very few in fact the un the un habitats research say that uh, it is only 30 percent of people who own vehicles and unfortunately we allocate them 70 percent of the public space we are improving that to have more spaces provided to the people who are just walking and uh, the cycling you realize that uh, we are also now having new we are having the new trend in cycling we are also going to provide in some section for example the moy road some cycling lanes that can be used by the by the cyclists when they are using when they are maybe using uh, they are they are moving around the city so that's what you are doing and uh, we look forward to have this project finished within a span of uh, seven months so by may around may it's going to be done but given the and, and also given the the uh, the energy we are seeing with our contractor I don't think it might reach me, it might be earlier, which we will appreciate so that our people can use the street uh, for the benefit and they can enjoy even before we have the elections and also before we close the year, so that we have a, a, trans, a change in the way we work in, in our city. Before we did this, uh, this project, eh, as, uh, as I said, this is a World Bank project, and World Bank project, you must meet some of the, some of the requirements. One is the public participation. Uh, we did our public participation during the COVID uh, during the COVID uh, period, and uh, at that time we had the government restriction that we could not have the public gathering. So what we did, we requested for memorandum, and we got a few memorandum, 
Later on, we saw that uh, the memorandum we received are not uh, representative enough. So we did questionnaires. We went around the businesses premises, and we got uh, we got responses that were enough to start this project. Uh, when we started the project, still there were some issues that were raised by the business community. They were concerned about the parking. We also had a meeting with the, the business owners and also the proprietors, the owners of the premises along the Kenyatta Avenue. And we had a very good discussion about this project. No wonder you find on the opposite uh, Sheikh Park, you realize that the project is not ongoing now. Why? There is a redesigning that we are doing, whereby we are accommodating the parallel parking. We call them flash parking. Currently, we are having the Ago parking. But now, with the provision of the NMT, with the provision of the NMT, we are going to have uh, the flash parking all along the avenue. So that should be understood. There are people who are saying we are finishing the parking. No, we can because parking contributes to the businesses. For example, somebody wants to go to the ATM. You need to park there and also access the services from, the, from an ATM. Still, those who are doing some shopping, you find that there are those people who do bulk shopping in our supermarket. We have provided the parking for them. Still, in our hotel that are along the Kenyatta Avenue, there are people who just want to come and have maybe their meals, lunch time, maybe they, they have their tea and leave, so we provided for that. So, people should not worry about the parking. The parking is provided all along in the new design that we are having. And that is going to be, we are going to have a meeting on Friday with the consultant and also with the contractor, so that instruction can be given on how to do the other section. And also the review of some area that uh, maybe the parking, uh, the parking was not well provided. So that has been taken care of and we appreciate the people of Nakuru for coming and raising this issue. Most came to our offices, others called our offices, this. others called me personally and we are able to listen to them. Why? This, this project we are doing in Nakuru, we are doing it for the residents of Nakuru. We are doing it for the people of Nakuru. And the governor is so much concerned about how we do our project, the public engagement. I remember even when we started this project, he, even, uh, he, he also demanded to see that the welfare of the business has been taken a priority. And that was something that we are doing as a board. And uh, we are going to continue to engage the residents of Nakuru so that we provide the, the, the project or we do the project that addresses their need. On the other part of uh, the Kenyatta Avenue, not the first phase. The second phase, you realize, there are, there are some parts that don't have drainage entirely. So in the second phase of this project, we look forward to have the designs and uh, to have much more concentrations of uh, the design into the drainage so that we don't have a drainage that is, uh, we don't have a drainage that is flooding and we don't have an avenue that is flooding, which is our main avenue. So we are not going to, we are not going to allow us to, to allow the city to have some, uh, to have, to have some sections that are flooding. And the same has also been replicated in the, in the lower part of the town. You see, for you to construct a drainage, you cannot start from the upper side of the drainage. You only start from the lower. So we are doing something we are calling unclogging of the drainages along, the, along our street. So not only the Kenyatta Avenue, even along the street, you'll find uh, some unclogging activities taking place before we, we experience heavy rains. And this is also going to help to have the free flow of water that is going to go to the other part of the, of the city. We are also providing the, the street lights which are also going to contribute to the, to the, to the, to what? It's going to contribute to the night businesses. Eh? You realize, uh, due to the COVID, you know, COVID, the, most of the businesses were affected. We thank God that they are now picking up. It's a security enough to tell you that you can work at any time. We are also providing the street lighting that are going to provide lighting enough to make the customers to feel free to move along our street. Still, we are working with the security agencies in the city to ensure that we are, we, they are providing security enough for our people so that you can come and even you can come and do your shopping at night and we are requesting our business people you know our business owner the supermarket owners to make sure that they are also extending their time because with the proper lighting with the proper security enough security we are also going to experience uh, we need now to extend the working hours the business the working hours even you can have night shift that is going to create more employment to, uh, to the residents of Nakuru through through these activities, through this electric security and the street lighting, I believe that Nakuru is going to be a 24-hour economy soon. Once the CCTVs are everywhere, this is for the county or the city, the city to trace and know exactly where the crime happened and how they can trace it back and to make sure maybe next time the person who has been involved may not repeat.
But the whole thing, you are combat the work that's being in, the work that is being done, it's a good work. We encourage them, but also to put it in plan so that they don't cause a lot of jam in town due to kipata kumefungwa, huko kumeenda unaanza kuduna rivers si vizuri. But all the same cast in Missouri. Uh, kama hivyo wanasema ni drainage na fiber itatusaidia. Ah uh, na vile mmesema pia ni mmetuambia ni CCTV inawekwa itatusaidia pia kuweka usalama katika nchi yetu na hata katika kaunti hii yetu na pia hii mifereji sasa tutakuwa na shida ya maji kwa hivyo tunaona itakuwa city nzuri ikikuwa 24 hour city sisi tunaona itatusaidia sana kwa sababu watu wengi wako katika harakati za kutembea na ku isa ni pahali watu wanapitia wengi wakienda kaunti zingine na wengi hata wana land hapa usiku so wanaweza kuwa na tusaidia kukuza hii biashara kwa sababu tunaweza kuwa na watu wengi ambao wanafanya tuna wakati mrefu wa kufanya biashara eh siwezi sema inaendelea vizuri lakini nafikiri kikamilika ikikamilika tutajua kama nafikiri itakuwa mzuri kweli na kuru inafaa itengenezwe hizo hizo madrainage na security lights security lights mali kwingi kuko na mwagiza eh, mabarabara za watu kupitia kwa mguu sasa kama sisi boda boda sababu unakuta watu wamejaa kwa barabara hawana mahali pa kutembelea kwa hivyo kama na kuru city kweli inafaa itengenezewe watu mahali pa kutembea watu watembea wakiwa safe sisi tuendeshe tukiwa safe kwa sababu hata tunaogopa kuenda kuna mahali tunaogopa hata tusipitie na Mambo ni mingi, mambo ni mingi yenye natakiwa kufanyo, yenye ijafanyika kwa sasa.